third grade. Welcome back to Reader's Workshop. We are learning to build stamina for a strong reading life and think about what we are reading. All right, what your teachers are looking for is for students to read more and more independently for 25 to 30 minutes. And you stop and jot while you read. All right, so how are we going to do that? Here's what good readers do. So here are some tips about that. All right, so good readers, they stop and think, then jot about what they picture in their mind. So just think of like, oh, if I'm stopping and jotting, I can think about what I'm picturing. Then what they wonder about, so it could be I'm picturing this or I'm wondering, why did the character do that? What they think, what they feel, what they find interesting, and what they connect to. So these are the key things that you can stop and jot about. Um, you can stop and jot about other things too. So now let's think about the book maybe first day jitters. Uh, I could say, I can picture in my mind being really nervous and how Mrs. Hart felt, Hartwell felt on that day. And thinking as if I'm a student, and we thought it was a student who was really nervous about going to a new school, didn't know anyone, first day, we felt that too. So I can picture that in my mind. Then I know I can connect to that feeling. I felt that way before when I had to go to school on first day of school, new school, new people to me. So that's something I will stop and jot about on my post it. All right? And this is something you can use at home, um, this is something you use in person. If you don't have a post-it, you can write it in a notebook. Any thought that comes to mind while you're reading. Since you'll be reading for longer and longer and more and more, this is something you can do while you read so you can like remember things that really struck you. So remember these key things. Like, oh, I can stop and shout about this. I wonder why the character did that. Or I could stop and jot about how I felt the same way before, connecting to the character. Or I could stop and jot about that was a really interesting fact or that was a really interesting clue to the mystery, whatever type of book you're reading. Or, wow, I feel really bad for this person. Or I feel really excited for this character. They're doing something fun. They're having fun. Or maybe you feel really nervous for the character. And then you can think, like, I think this is going to turn out really, really chaotic for the character. So these are ways that you could, while you read, just jot a little thing down, excuse me, about something that you were thinking about. So good readers, while we're reading, and building stamina, we definitely want to jot down anything that we're picturing in our mind, anything that we're wondering, anything that we're thinking, anything that we feel, anything that we find interesting, or something we connect with. So you try it out right now. Let's think about the book, um, How to Be a Bucket Filler. Think about when she came or he came and knocked down the blocks. How do you think the character felt when the blocks, her tower or his tower, was knocked down? Would you 
we were thinking would you write that you can connect with that because your sibling did that to you before or maybe you did that to your sibling? Do you feel bad for the character whose blocks were all knocked down in Bucket Filler? What stop and jot would you use and what would you write? I'll give you a minute to think about it. And you can pause the video if you're at home to give yourself time to think about that. All right, we're back. So I'm sure you probably said, oh, I can connect with that because my sister came and she messed up my toys that I was building. Or you could have said, oh, I felt really bad for that character when they were building this tower of blocks and someone deliberately or purposely knocked them down. I feel really bad. I can sympathize or empathize with that character. Sure, anything that you said using one of these thoughts that you can use will work. You stop and think and then jot it down. All right, readers, you are fabulous readers. You are super readers. And in third grade, we're gonna build our stamina more and more using our stop and jot. And we're gonna keep going. You may have come in at 15 minutes of reading. Right now, some of you are reading for 20 minutes, two thumbs up. Some of you are even reading for 25 minutes. Another two thumbs up, kiss your brain, wonderful. All of these amounts are great. By the end of third grade, we want to hit a 30 to 35 minute independent reading time. And if you hit 40 minutes, wow, <laughs> good job. So we want to build our stamina more and more. If you're here, okay, we're going to work hard to move forward. Sometimes using stop and jot helps us build that stamina because we're thinking about our book. We can stop, jot, and continue reading. It keeps us focused. You're going to use all your strategies as you read independently. All right, readers. Yeah, I think you're all set. You think you're set? Okay. I'll see you next time in Reading Workshop. Bye.